time that I give you guys an update in the two channel kingdom of what's happening. So this is going to be a vlog style post today, something I haven't done before using this gimbal and a uh, basically taped a microphone anti-wind mic here. As you can see, it looks like I, uh, I stuffed a rabbit in my shirt. That is the Rode mic. And I uh, reshot this a couple of times due to all the construction going on in the neighborhood out here. But the only way sometimes to explain what's actually happening is to physically show you guys. And that's what I wanted to do today is give you some background, a little bit of autobiography on the last three weeks since we've moved into our house. Um, it's been an interesting ordeal. Lots of unfinished projects with the house. We did the full construction loan, so we hold the loan and worked with the bank to hold back funds until certain things are done. And unfortunately, there's quite a list of stuff that's not done on this house, which has also caused me to not be able to dive back in and create all of my reviews, especially the Tecton Aruz that everyone's waiting for. Nevertheless, uh, there's going to be some noise as one of the earlier videos of pointing some things out a lot of wind kicked up regardless and i apologize for that but once inside the house everything will be normalized for you so without further ado let me take you on a, a small tour of the house and uh yeah we'll take it from there hey let's try this again so here is the front of the manning casa and you probably can notice some things right off the bat so you got an unfinished wall over here the front's not painted and look at that gap in the garage. You see that? That's missing all the trim because that's not even our garage door. That's just a temporary so that we were allowed to move in and got a certificate of occupancy three weeks ago. Um, don't know when we're going to get a garage door. Nobody can tell us. They're all on back order. So when it's really windy here, we just have dirt and all kinds of grime blowing right into our garage. Yeah, I know. First world problems. But, uh, you know, let's, let's keep on with the theme here. It's, we've been in this house again for three weeks. And, uh, yeah, here's our unfinished wall. It's supposed to be all the same stone going across. Builder totally forgot to actually put the wall in until I pointed it out, even though it was on the uh, plans that they stared at every single day. Don't know how that, how that goes. Um, yeah, and let's keep keep on going here's the front entrance as you can see these unpainted walls you see all the marks on them some of the builders uh the subcontractors kids writing on our walls isn't that awesome i mean the front entrance is going to be very very nice when it's all said and done but uh yeah let's go inside the new home oh i already see some blue tape right off the bat that's because we've got some squeaky floors that we're asking for them to come and fix. There was a lot of snow that uh, accumulated on the subfloor when the house was being built over the winter. So that's just one more of those wonderful things trying to deal with with the, uh, the builder and the contractors. Here is the main room. This is where everything's going to be happening in the future. Now this is a open concept room for a reason why with building a custom house did we not go with a dedicated music room well there's a few reasons for that as you can see there's no tv and we did that on purpose because amanda and i when it comes down to it we don't hardly ever watch any tv it's maybe two movies a month and that's something that we can do in the bedroom and so there's no point in dedicating any specific space for just uh, four or five hours a month of actual TV watching. What we do share is the common interest of music and so that was the reason for this open concept room of kind of splitting it into a family room where everybody can gather and still hear the music and then that goes off into the kitchen, where again, if I had a dedicated room, I'd be isolated from 
the family most of the time and they want to hear the music as well. So this actually benefits everybody as I'm playing music and listening to everything. Amanda is able to chime in and, and she definitely has opinions on the gear that I'm reviewing at the time. Not to mention, obviously, we share a lot of similar tastes in music, so she benefits from hearing the music throughout the house. I benefit from hearing the music throughout the house. So again, that's why we didn't do a dedicated music room. Now, the other challenges are the fact that we got this weird um, system over here where we got the Cat 5 and a plug for a TV in the center of the wall, but it's not even true center to the wall. I've done the measurements and what's going on here is the fact that I was able to create a, a full on nine feet by nine feet triangle. So that is the new listening. My new listening setup is a nine by nine. The ceilings are 11 feet tall. And if you could see those little dots down there, that's to remind me of where that nine foot center to center spot is, as well as the tape signifies that everything will be at least 20 inches off the back wall by using those measurements. Got these new, these are from um, spinning now, now spinning records. They're little diffusers that everybody's probably been seeing on Instagram. I've purchased a few sets, including the nice little wood inserts. The dark walnut is a stain that I did because the the bright wood just didn't go with the floors or everything else that we have in the house. And my little uh, gyroscope here is not cooperating. But here are the floating shelves. So with all the dark woods, I wanted to make sure that the, those little diffuser panels would match. And so that's where this is coming in at. And hopefully that text is not being recorded. Very interesting. Okay, so this is a dedicated 20 amp wall. I have its, it has its own circuit. So it's, uh, the breaker is not sharing with anything else in the house. And I specifically asked for that. It was a very cheap upgrade to have. And I'm not using a, uh, an AV conditioner or anything of that matter. Everything is straight plugged, is everything is straight plugged into the walls. And everything on this entire side is that 20 amp uh, dedicated circuit. And this thing is still just not cooperating with me. Anywho, uh, the other reason I'm not rushing into the Tecton Aru's review for you guys is the very fact that well, there's been, every week there's a lot of changes to the room. We're adding stuff, we're taking things away. I've added the diffusers just this last week. Been looking for maybe possibly some paintings to go across the top so I could specifically hide those outlets. Uh, the diffuser panels themselves don't quite stick to that and the spacing would be off anyway and it would just look odd. So probably gonna try to find some rather a set of paintings or one painting or whatever and put that across the top there. The chair is brand new. No more uh, folding chair that I was using. It was killing my tailbone, but just so everybody, you know, in music land knows that even switching the chair changed the dynamics of listening to the Tectona Ruse. So the folding chair was actually slightly taller the, the uh, listening position and where my ears were at. And by switching to this dedicated uh, listening chair, improved the overall dynamics or what I should say, it proved the sound stage into my listening position. I was more in the sweet spot. God damn it. I was more in the sweet spot with the tectons. And again, everything is completely measured out. I have marks under the chair here so that, again, there's a, it is nine feet by nine feet triangle and the ceilings are 11 high. What I have feeding the system is my trusty laptop over here to the Yamaha CD2100 DAC, which I'm using the USB connection. What you see right there is I've been playing with my Synology 216 Play. That's the, the name of the server 
that I set up and purchased many years ago. It actually has been sitting in a box for three years untouched. And I wanted to bring that back out again now that I have full CAD, uh, CAD 6 wiring throughout the house. I will show you where that's at. It's actually in the bedroom. And with the accessing that system, I can stream all those CD rips and HD downloads that are sitting on that server throughout the entire house. And I've only been listening to that for the last two days. Since most of that is WAV and FLAC files, I can easily attest to the fact that not only does it already blow away anything I listen to on Spotify, but several of the tracks, I swear that it's even an improvement over Amazon HD. And some of you will ask, well, you know, you have a, only so many tracks on that server. Yes, I do have several thousand tracks, and I just need to now find a, uh, another way to source that so that it's a little bit easier using through my cell phone instead of the laptop in the future. I may go back to a SIM audio, I don't know. Or I may even go to Lumen. It just all depends on, you know, that finding a good used piece at a reasonable price. As for the gear on the ground, I haven't made any decisions there. Funds are a little tight. Obviously, we're moving into the brand new house and all the expenses associated with that. I haven't been able to dive into the next, the next planning stages for the room, but I am... I am pretty much decided that I will go with a very low stand in the future, maybe just a two shelf stand, something that's, as I measured out, would only go up to the middle of the um, black hexagon there. Uh, I mean, even thinking of something like what uh, acoustic, but or what is that? Um, acoustic, what is that? Butcher, butcher block acoustics and you know, we'll, we'll see, time will tell, maybe I find something from somebody else, or if you guys wanna comment on stateside, anybody else who makes really nice custom stands that aren't, you know, $2,000 or something to that effect, I'd love to read your comments. Giving you guys a little bit of peek behind the dirtiness and all of the disarray. That's the other reason we love having these shelves. Everything can be hidden once we get there and everything's cleared up. Still got the old Peachtree Deco Sky 125 in there and all of my numerous cables and whatnot. Let's take a stroll. Get away from there. Quit looking that way. I'm trying to control you. You're not listening to me. Let's go to the master. Ignore all the boxes. We're still moving. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, here we go. This way. Nope, this way. Look, 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 look. Come on. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Incompetent. All right. So, here is the master system. Uh, regrettably, I've put the Sierra 2EX up for sale this weekend because I have not been able to sell these Alta IOs. They've been listed since February, and I've knocked the price down five, six hundred dollars from where I bought them used, and it's just very disappointing. I don't know what it is. Yes, I haven't been very kind to them. However, I also don't want to, you know, recoup only pennies on the dollar for these speakers for what they are and they're not horrible sounding they sound good it's just they're not the best value for the buck out there so i decided okay i'm going to swap them out the sierra 2 ex they're great speakers they hold their value and i need to free up some funds somehow because i already have five sets of speakers and that's just the way it goes in the review, uh, the reviewer's world, especially when you're the one paying for everything. I have in here, there's that lovely Denon that uh, continues to uh, impress me over and over. Watched a video last weekend in just a fantastic unit. I did the review on the, the DVD 3930CI. And next to that is that Synology that I've been telling you guys all about. So it's it's always in auto mode. As soon as I, I um, plug into it, everything will light up. 
but I've had this for, gosh, I want to say I've had this unit for five years now when I was doing all the downloads and the CD rip so that I could keep everything in one place. And with the Synology technology, you're actually, you can plug into this even from remotely from work and play every file that you have through your computer while you're at work or on the go, as long as you have a Wi-Fi connection to um, remote into it. And that was really the big reason of, of going that direction. Having that flexibility, no matter what kind of music service is out there, we all amass so much music and some specialty music that even Spotify still doesn't have on its, uh, its servers. And I don't like to lose any of those that specialty music, so I'm always going to have access to that no matter what. Plus, I can guarantee that it's at least minimum CD quality or higher. The other piece, as you guys know, uh, lots of complaints with reviewers is that we get a piece of gear in, we, we listen to it for a month, and then out the door it goes. Never do we actually talk about its reliability. Well, here you go. This is the long term, the little $245 OSD Nero stream. Uh, I continue to use this in the in my master. It gets a few hours a week, so at least I'll be able to give you guys any updates in the future if something happens. Uh, it had no problem finding the server, and I'm able to stream direct in the bedroom from the, the Synology. Again, $245, I'm streaming at ninety at the uh, 9624. I I just don't know of anything else guys that can do that for, you know, for $245 and still crank these uh, 86 dB speakers at the levels that I like to listen to at any given time. The Altas definitely have a lot of bass boom and bloom. So I put the socks in the rear ports because I couldn't get them further away from the back wall and that tones them down quite nicely. They have those found tech tweeters, arguably a very good uh, bedroom system. So there you have it. This is the, the ugly unvarnished truth. I just wanted to give you guys an update. I feel that uh, I was obligated to give you something. I've received several emails from folks and I really do appreciate those of you that with the well wishes and wondering what's going on. Uh, there's a lot going on still. A lot of issues with the builder trying to get this house finished. Different things happening at different times trying to keep up with that. And then still at the end of the day trying to come back here and with an open mind and clear head conduct my reviews with the you know the some semblance semblance of some professionalism uh <laughs> take that for whatever that is i am, can be self-effacing whatever i need to be but i want this to be uh, an elevated process from where i was in the apartment for all the obvious reasons now that i have the space this is a much larger room and I can spread things out. I have a more realistic listening triangle, this nine by nine by 11, and I can actually spend money on sound absorption, diffusion, and eventually we'll start working with some DSP systems so that I can fine tune the room even more, purchase this really large rug to help with the, the floor bounce. The entire house is mostly wood, and we did that because we love it. It's durable, it looks great, and not a lot of homes are putting in real wood anymore. So there's just that aesthetic that goes with that. Plus it just, it feels, feels nicer on the feet. It's more warm and just not a big fan of having all these carpeted rooms. But, you know, the other side of that is you have a lively room, you have more reflections. Uh, when I first hooked up the system that first week without the carpet, every album that I, I put on sounded like it was a live album and that was a very interesting experience. So I knew right off the bat that there was gonna, it was gonna require lots of room tweaking and that takes money and it takes a lot of adjustments. And so again, did not want to rush my review of the Tectona Ruse. Uh, they deserve, they deserve a fair chance. They deserve everything to be as close to 
what everyone else could replicate in your rooms as best as possible. They are they already sound fantastic. Uh, there's gonna be some some butthurt folks out there when I actually do do the review and make my decision on the zoo and versus the Aruz. But also some other things that are on the way. I have a Red King all tube integrated amp from Eric S Concepts on the way. That should be here in I hope three weeks and I'll be uh, spending a lot of time breaking that integrated amp in. Still have the green speakers over there which sounded even better in this room with just having the, the cubic volume. And yeah, I mean, that's where we're at. So I appreciate everybody's patience. I know this is, uh, you know, you, you wanna know what's going on and there you have it guys. Can't tell you, it's probably gonna be at least two more weeks before I can do the official re review on the, on the Tecton so that I know exactly what I'm dealing with with the diffuser, diffusion panels on the wall, get those paintings up, and I reduce all the variability so that I'm having a consistent sound from them versus the uh, the Zoo um, or the Zoo Dirty Weekend Mark IIs. Thanks again for the support, and this is it for right now. I will see you in a couple of weeks.